In music, we use the first seven letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. This is what's known as the musical alphabet. Note heads are placed on the lines and spaces of the staff. And as they ascend, we also move up the alphabet. After G, we're going to begin again with the first letter of our alphabet, A, and then continue on up the staff following the alphabet. Another way to remember the spaces on the treble staff is just simply spelling the word face. F-A-C-E. The spaces on the treble staff are F, A, C, and E. You can easily remember the line notes on the staff of the treble clef if you memorize the phrase, every good boy does fine. Using the first letter of each of those words will help you to remember the line notes for the treble staff. E for every, G for good, B for boy, D for does, F for fine. Every good boy does fine, or E, G, B, D, F. Those are the lines on the treble staff. For the space notes on the bass clef, you can use the phrase all cows eat grass for the spaces A, C, E, G. For the lines of the bass staff, we can use the phrase great big dogs fight animals to help us remember that the line notes are G, B, D, F, A. Now if I need to figure out notes that are below the staff lines or above, I simply would use my alphabet. I know that the bottom line of the bass staff is the letter G. So the note that comes before G in the alphabet is F. And if I know that A is the top line of the bass clef from great big dogs fight animals, it's easy to remember that the letter above A would of course be B. So remember, learning to read notes on the staff can be as easy as knowing your alphabet. Thanks for watching.